Benji, I want your thoughts on this. Uh, you know, we mentioned the interview with Jeb Bush. He, he talked a lot about his children. Uh, with you know, he's married to a, a lady born in uh, León, Guanajuato, in Mexico. Let's listen to a, a bit of that. Yo recuerdo una vez que mi hijo fue a Ocala para jugar eh, un equipo de eh, un juego de béisbol y eran de, de Miami el equipo y la mayoría eran hispanos. Mi hijo George pues tiene un piel es moreno, ¿no? Y hablaron barbaridades de, de los de Miami y a un lado por supuesto tenía que ex, eh, describir o, o explicar de que gente que odian pues no son la mayoría hay que aceptarlo pero ir adelante es una buena lección para para siempre recordar que todavía no hemos tener no, no hemos tenido una un país de justicia completa and Benji, I'm just wondering your, your thoughts and, and reaction to this. I mean, when this is a politician speaking about his family um, in a way that normally, I guess, English language media didn't ask him about. Right, and it was extremely compelling at several parts throughout that interview, just hearing Jeb Bush talk in such detail about his own personal experience in the Latino community, you know, being married to uh, a Mexican-born wife, having children who are, you know, as you could see, identified and sometimes even slurred uh, for, for their uh, Latino background. Uh, what is interesting here is this week, Jeb Bush is really trying to showcase just how different a look he would be for the Republican Party with the Latino vote, what it means in practice to have someone who is really aggressively trying to court uh, that demographic in a way that previous presidential candidates haven't. He's also been touring Florida this week, speaking to some uh, Hispanic religious groups. Uh, and I think you're really seeing here some of the promise of what that might look like uh, in practice in a general election here. One of the things that I pressed him on repeatedly is his promise that if he were to win, immigration reform would be a priority. He said yes. He does have a very kind of unique perspective on what immigration reform uh, would be because in his book a couple of years ago he wrote that he would uh, accept immigration reform for the 11 million undocumented but never giving them a path to citizenship. He seems to be kind of changing that aspect of it saying that just no special road to citizenship. I think it's fair to say Jeb Bush has talked about immigration reform a lot over the years, and he's actually bounced back and forth on the citizenship question. Uh, at this point, he's for legalization only, as you mentioned, is the way he's sort of come down. So uh, undocumented immigrants can stay if they meet certain requirements, but there's no chance for citizenship. Uh, I think what we learn about this is that citizenship is just not that important on the list of priorities for immigration reform that Jeb Bush has in mind. If he has to yeah, accept a path to citizenship, he will. If not, he won't. But for him, the much more important element is that he talks about probably with the most passion is reforming the legal immigration reform system and then just making sure that there's some end to the uncertainty for undocumented immigrants in America today. The rest is sort of, eh, he'll negotiate it either way. MSNBC political reporter Benji Sarlin, thank you for being with me. Appreciate it. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russert. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.